Inspire is a uh, hypoglossal nerve stimulator that's used for the treatment of sleep apnea. So most of the people we see who come in complaining of symptoms of sleep apnea, which for most people is snoring, um, blockage of their breathing at night, with choking, gasping symptoms, those kinds of things. Also, they don't feel well rested when they wake up in the morning, they have daytime fatigue, they fall asleep easily, they nap, things like that. Um, also, they don't find their sleep restful. So in those circumstances, what we typically will recommend is a, um, a sleep study to evaluate whether or not they have sleep apnea. And then depending on what the sleep study shows, we make different recommendations depending on what we find. So the way, the primary treatment for sleep apnea once it's diagnosed is a device called CPAP which stands for Continuous Positive Airway Pressure. And what that device does is it essentially blows air into your nose and mouth and that creates an opening that prevents obstruction and keeps your airway from collapsing when you sleep. Inspire works differently. Inspire actually stimulates the nerve that controls your tongue. So when people go to sleep at night, they turn the device on and that device will stimulate their tongue as they breathe in to keep their airway from collapsing and then when they breathe out it turns off and they relax and that happens every time you breathe. Uh, and uh, it's actually the only treatment for obstructive sleep apnea that's been shown to be comparable to CPAP uh, in the treatment of sleep apnea. Well, usually with the Inspire, the first step is to put in the implant and we usually give that a few months to heal and settle up and then what we'll do is we'll actually do another sleep study with the device and determine the, the correct amount of, of voltage that the implant has to deliver in order to control their sleep apnea. So it's almost like having a sleep study, only instead of them putting a CPAP on you and seeing how the CPAP's working, they do it with the Inspire. And then once we do that, then, you know, there's just, you know, maybe a checkup every, you know, six months to a year just to make sure everything's working okay, and that's pretty much it. So it's not something that really has a huge amount of follow-up. The average life of the battery, like I said, is about 11 years, 7 to 11 years, somewhere in that range. So, um, you know, there is a chance that the battery may need to be replaced at some point.